and then I have a Sibubu Plothos. I chose the Sibubu Plothos. <laughs> the Sibubu Blue Pothos. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa, and we talk about all things plants. I bought something. I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited. Like, I can't eat it. Like, I'm so excited. Like, it was, like, it was a last minute decision, but I'm literally super excited for this. I bought myself a terrarium. Yay! So, a little bit of a history lesson for anyone who's new here or new to my channel or doesn't know me. All right, we have moved to the floor. Don't mind my laundry. So this is my new EXO terrarium. It is, I believe it is a 12 by 12 and I purchased it off of a local like plant person in Winnipeg. He was getting rid of one of his and it was a good deal. I've always wanted one of these. I have wanted, okay, do you guys remember when the Ikea cabinet came out and like everyone was turning them into a little mini greenhouse? I wanted to do that, but I wasn't ready to like spend the money on like $200 on a cabinet where one, I have no room for it, and two, the money was, I was just tight with money, so I kind of like waited. But I was envious and I lived vicariously through so many different YouTubers and people on my Instagram who were doing it and I eventually remembered that years or a couple years ago I had bought myself a mini greenhouse from Amazon. So I dug that out. Um, I have videos on that and I'll put that in the description of like, I have how I built it, building it, and what I put in it, I've done updates in it. Also, if you ever wanna see these things, you have to follow me over on my Instagram, because whenever I do videos like this, showing you things, DIYs, um, or experiments, I always follow up on my Instagram. I'm active daily over there, just go over there. Anyways, back to the story of things. I got the greenhouse, and I was like, shit, I have a greenhouse. So I put it up, I was super excited, and like, I love it, but it's in my basement, and it's not like, it wasn't bringing me like that much joy anymore. So I kind of like just stepped away from it. Then, um, the whole like, going back to the Ikea cabinet, I was like, I, I, want, I want something else like in my living room. Well, I have this like corner hutch thing um, and it has doors and I bought myself a little mini humidifier and I put plants in there. Um, David approved it. So and I didn't turn on the humidifier too, too much only because it's literally made out of wood um, and it was not constructed for plants at all. I just kind of did it. It worked for a little bit, but again, I just it wasn't bringing me joy. And then I started seeing people doing these, these little terrariums turning, like reptile terrariums, making big moss wall, moss walls. <laughs> um, you can buy huge ones of these, and it's now like kind of like, I feel like it's becoming a thing. So this is just a little baby guy. I do have some plants in mind that I want to put in here, and I'm going to obviously show you that and the process. Um, but let's just take a little close up of what's actually going on here. Right, you guys so like I said it's about 12 by 12 I do have this grow light um, and it is clipped onto the back and at the top it's kind of like a metal mesh to undo the lid you just flip these guys out and then the lid just pops off just like that and then inside I'm gonna turn the grow light off for a moment please stand by so inside, this is kind of like a makeshift, it's like a moss wall. So there is like this hard like plastic over top and behind it, it's sphagnum moss. It looks like she used some bamboo sticks. This was custom made by someone in Winnipeg. And then it goes all the way down. And then at the bottom, we just have some leka, which is like lava rocks. And also the front opens. So I do believe, hmm. 
Yeah, see, Exoterra, that's what it's called. I think I wanna just go like this. Okay, please stand by again. <laughs> there we go. So you just flip it, and that's kind of how you can put the plants in. So, I'm pretty new with LECA. So basically, what I'm gonna do, as you can see, it's probably like, I don't know, two inches high um, at the bottom. I'm probably just going to put water at the bottom. So I'm probably gonna do like a half a cup or a cup of water or whatever, and whenever I see it not there anymore, I'll fill it again, but that's about as much as I'm gonna do for when it comes to humidity. Um, I do have the grow lights, so those will be on for 12 hours at a time. And yeah, I'm just super excited for this, you guys, and let's go find some plants to put in here. All right, so the first three plants that I've decided I wanna put in here is this Philodendron Melanochrysum. I have a Syngonia Winlandii, and then I have a Cibubu Pothos. I chose the Cibubu Pothos. <laughs> <laughs> the Cebu Blue, Blue Pothos because I want something to obviously climb the back there, right? Also, I need to get that wet. You want to keep your moss pole, or not moss poles, or just like anything, like your moss poles or whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. You want to keep them wet um, so the plant can trail up. So let's just, honestly, it's not going to be perfect because you guys, I might need two hands. <laughs> Please stand by. All right, so I kind of snugged him right against the moss wall, and you can see like right here, there. This is where it's gonna start climbing. So I'm, I want it to kind of like trail up. So I'm, if, if I'm gonna put any other plants in the back, I'm gonna be putting stuff like that that's gonna trail. Um, and then I also have my melanochrysum here. So I think I'm gonna throw him maybe right here. Again, I'll probably take the plants out of oh we have a dead leaf I'll probably take the plants out of this um, this stuff or just pot it in something smaller but I'm, I'm honestly I'm not mad about this I'm super excited for this little experiment and then I have a Syngonium Winlandia um, I don't know where I'm gonna put them please stand by <laughs> All right, so this is what it kind of looks like for now. If anyone has any suggestions on what I can like replace the pots with, like it's all ghetto right now, I know, but I have like a plastic pot and whatever, but I don't know, do I like, should I just plant it straight into the leco, leco, <laughs> leco, <laughs> leca? I'm scared to do that, so I probably won't. But if you have any other suggestions for like just all same color cup, uh, cups or plates. Oh my God, I am just, I don't understand what's happening. Pots, um, just let me know. Okay, I do have in mind a couple more that I wanna go get. They are smaller and they are in my greenhouse downstairs, so I'm gonna go grab those. All right, so I tucked in my little philodendron lupinium. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Is that a fungus man already? Not so actually a fruit fly. <laughs> um, this guy ain't doing well, but he may latch on to the moss wall, so let's be hopeful for that. And then I have one more that I wanna put in here. So as you can see, the last plant that I put in here was this little philodendron brandy that I have. And I think that's all I'm gonna throw in there. So now I'm going to really spray the back moss wall and I'm going to put that half a cup of water in and turn on the grow lights, walk away and just love it. <laughs> you guys and that concludes this video like I mentioned earlier don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram so you can see if I move things around put new plants in change things up because I 100% probably will I am also curious to know if you have one of these and what you put in it or if you have any other tips for me all right you guys I'll see you guys next time XO XO MM bye